Hello everyone, welcome to Optic Straight YouTube channel. Another review. Here I have Blazer Primus 8x30 binoculars. Um, and let's start with introducing the company. Uh, Blazer is a um, renowned European firearms manufacturer. Uh, and in 2017, they started with producing the first optical devices. Um, they started with uh, binoculars. Uh, all of their optics are made by German Sport Optics, uh, so GSO. But now they also produce uh, rifle scopes uh, and red dot. Um, and they went straight to the high-end premium class uh, in the terms of um, the price of their optics. Uh, so they are competing against some premium manufacturers from Europe, uh, Swarovski, Zeiss uh, and Leica. Primo series of binoculars has four different models. Uh, we have the, this compact 8x30, so we don't have uh, any 10x30, so only 8x30 as I have here. Uh, then we have two standard configurations, and 8 and 10x42. And, uh, and of course the um, low light specialist uh, 8x56. The very interesting thing about all Blazer binoculars is uh, that they have all abeconic prisms inside. Uh, except for the model I have here, compact 8x30. Now abeconic, we all know, enhances the light transmission rate, making binoculars more bright uh, to use in low light situations. Uh, but with compact binoculars, that is uh, of no use. We don't use compacts in low light. Uh, and with abeconic prisms, we would compromise the size and weight uh, because usually um, if, we look, if we take a look at uh, Blazer uh, 8 by 42, 10 by 42, and of course 8 by 56, uh, they are all bigger, longer. Uh, it's also a special design with abeconic prisms. Uh, the barrels uh, are not uh, in the same uh, axis. Uh, they usually uh, sorry, go uh, um, a bit to the side, uh, so they are bigger, uh, heavier, and we don't want that with compact binoculars. Um, as all, as I said before, all binoculars from Blazer are made in Germany, so we have European-made uh, binoculars um, in the premium class. Let's talk about physical characteristics first. Uh, we have the weight of 550 grams, which is really light, uh, lighter than competition, uh, so uh, lighter than Swarovski EL, a compact one, a Victory, a Zeiss Victory um, FL, and uh, also uh, Leica Ultravit. Um, so at 550 grams, the, these are really, really light. Uh, then we have the size, 12.5 centimeters long and 11.5 centimeters wide. Again, small and compact. A unique shade of brown uh, with some black here features, uh, making these binoculars honestly really elegant. Uh, they really, really stand out uh, with their color choice. Uh, unique design here on the bottom uh, you can see that um, here we have thumb rests. Uh, so when you're holding binoculars, here your thumbs rest here. Uh, it's a unique design. It's a um, really comfortable design to use for uh, maybe longer pe periods of time. Um, so I think the design uh, of these binoculars is really innovative and uh, really, really ergonomic. Magnesium housing, as it's usual for um, premium class. Then we have rubberized body, uh, making this really sturdy um, and able to withstand uh, many different weather situations. Uh, of course, waterproof uh, and fog proof, uh, so there is no fear of um, internal fogging. Uh, now, let's move on to some optical 
properties. Uh, we have a really sharp, really vivid image. Um, the edges are a bit blurry, so not that sharp. Uh, I no noticed some yellow color around the edges uh, and also there are some yellow tint if you look through the binoculars on the um, white background. You can, I don't know if you can see, but there is some uh, slight yellow tint. Close focusing distance of 2.5 meters, which is good. And the amazing field of view with this compact, it's uh, 144 meters at 1000 meters. So when comparing them to the uh, competition, uh, these really, really uh, have a wide field of view, uh, like no uh, compact binoculars. Uh, from other manufacturers. So Blazer mainly intended these binoculars to be used by hunters, hence the colors and uh, the Blazer um, company is uh, produces um, hunting rifles. Uh, so um, these are mainly used for hunting in the mountains because they're small compact. Uh, this is really important in the mountains. Uh, and it also can be used as a soaking companion. Focusing, uh, we have really, really slow focus. As you can see, the turning is really slow. This is much preferred, preferred by hunters where the game is moving around slowly. Uh, the distance of the animals is usually the same. Uh, this is not the case with bird watching. Uh, with bird watching, you have uh, you have to um, the birds are moving quickly, so you have to adjust the focus quickly, and also the distances uh, are um, quickly changing. So the fast focus is of key with bird watching, uh, but here with hunting, uh, we prefer more slow focus. Um, as I said, big central focusing knob here. Uh, we have rib surface for easier adjustment. Um, adapter adjustment ring is located here on the right eyepiece, under the right eyepiece. Uh, it's a white indicator to um, so you know where you have your diopter set. Uh, we don't have any locking function with diopter, which is common with premium binoculars. Um, but uh, here we don't have any locking uh, function. Uh, let's talk about eye cups. We have twist up eye cups, of course, it's usual. The turning is really hard, I have to say. It's not smooth. I would expect more smooth turning from a premium binoculars, but um, they have multiple positions, so they are suitable for different users. Uh, we have eye relief of 15.1 uh, uh, millimeters. Um, they are not exactly ho holding in place. Uh, here you can see that the the eye cups are a bit wobbly. Um, I mean the overall quality. Uh, I think this could be improved uh, with maybe next generation. Um, but overall the rubber is soft. It feels nice when you have them pressed pressed against your face. You can also use these uh, binoculars with glasses. Um, so you have to have your eye cups turned down um, and press this uh, against your um, glasses. Uh, now let's talk about um, things that are included in the package. We have really premium um, accessories, I would say. Um, you get these binoculars in this uh, case, it's hard padded case uh, with um, brown leather. Um, so the bag is really, really nice. Uh, you have inside also a uh, pocket, zipped pocket, um, and a place to store your, your binoculars. Um, and here you have the belt loop also. Uh, we don't have any strap for the case but um, I don't think that's really needed. Um, so really, really hard case uh, to protect your binoculars. 
Uh, then we have the um, uh, eyepiece covers uh, made of, out of rubber. We have objective lens covers also made out of rubber uh, that can be uh, removed from the barrels if they, um, if they bother you. Um, then we have the strap, uh, which is also which is already uh, mounted on binoculars when you um, take them out of the uh, bag. Uh, I mean box, um, and you have these covers already attached uh, to the strap. Of course, we have the cleaning cloth uh, included, uh, instruction manual uh, in multiple languages. We have instructions on how to adjust the uh, strap to your binoculars, focusing, um, focusing mechanism explained and diopter settings. So um, these are for all uh, configurations. And then we have confirmation of purchase. you know you're buying original Blazer uh, binoculars. Uh, there's 10 years of warranty with uh, all Blazer binoculars, uh, and these are priced at 1,149 euros currently. Uh, now let's round up this review with some positive things. Uh, these are great premium compact binoculars uh, magnesium housing, uh, which is really incredible. Uh, then we have a light, uh, they are really light, uh, comparing them to the uh, competition. Really, really wide field of view, 144 meters at 1000 meters. Nice, elegant uh, design, brown, special brown color. These are really, uh, they stand out if you have them. Uh, they complement nicely your, maybe your blazer rifle. Um, and they have great accessories, really uh, high quality accessories, which are to be expected of this premium price class. Um, now let's maybe talk about some uh, things that could be improved. Um, honestly, the eye cups can, could be improved, uh, maybe better turning, more smooth turning. Um, then we have um, optically, uh, they are not as perfected as some of their competition. Honestly, we have like a uh, ultra with HDs here, uh, Swarovski EL. Um, there is some yellow tint, as I said, so um, maybe they are not on the same level yet as uh, their competition, uh, but I, I think they'll uh, catch up uh, to them with the optical uh, performance, but uh, physical uh, characteristics are really uh, superb. Blazer is a newcomer on the optics field, so uh, they are not as famous yet for their um, optics. But I think with years uh, and with some improvements, uh, they really compete, uh, they could really compete with uh, Leica, Swarovski and Zeiss. We can't deny that these are one of the best looking binoculars on the market. Uh, the, they are really a worthy competitor, um, especially if you're a Blazer fan. If you have if you have the rifle, uh, you also need uh, binoculars from Blazer. So thank you for watching this review. We have some other videos on Blazer uh, products. We have uh, reviews and also the bait where our Blazer uh, binoculars made. So uh, be sure to check them out. And see you next time. Bye.